Welcome to this tutorial and today we are going over radio buttons. Now radio buttons are those small circular buttons you see on a website where the user will have to click just one option. Okay, so we did here, you can see we are still using our form, our form element, here, our form tag. And you can see we labeled it with just a normal text label, okay? And we use an input tag and the type. And this time we are making the type radio. And before we were using the type of text, but this time we are using radio for the type. Because this radio type here, this radio value, is what will be giving that circular radio. That circular radio button on our website, okay? So make sure the type is radio. Remember, we are using type of text where you can input text in the text box. But this one, we are using radio. So this is what will be creating that circular radio on our website, okay? Now, this name here, this name attribute, make sure it's the same. Make sure you use the same value here. Make sure this value is the same so we can tie these two together because this is considered one question everything here is considered one question because we want the user to be able to click one we don't want the user to be able to click two we don't want the user to click both buttons when using a radio button you only want the user to click one button okay so make sure these two names are the same if you change the name like this maybe something you did something like this you add one here if you change the name, the user will be able to click both buttons and that's not what we want. That's not how they use radio button. When using a radio button, you only want the user to click one, okay? So make sure these two, the name attributes here are the same for the radio buttons, okay? So let's do this. Let's reload this on our web page. Now you refresh. You can see we have the buttons. Look at our label here the yes and no label okay so look at let me click this now let me click the other one you can see we can be able to click just one okay you can be able to click just one now let me do this here for you now if you change this name let me say for example you just insert change the name just put one here now we have changed this name now let's load this you refresh now let's click yes and now we click no now you can see we can be able to click both buttons and that's not what we want that's not how the radio button work you want the user to be able to click just one okay maybe you are asking the user that comes to your website you're asking the user to be able to you asking the user if the user would want to click something which one will the user click so you, you would want to give the user one option so the user can be able to click one okay maybe you're asking the user are you a um for example do you have a car something like that then the user might click yes or no you don't want the user to click two buttons okay so that's not how the radio button work make sure you make the name the same you can name it anything you can name anything here but make sure they are the same make sure this name value is the same okay so now if we refresh this you fresh you click yes you click no now the user will be will know that he or she will have to click one button okay so make sure that name attribute is the same yeah so that's the radio button here yeah so that will be it for this video guys i will see you guys in the next video